A nursing home is the site of the first U.S. coronavirus outbreak with one dead and four hospitalized. An Iowa nursing home cited for death, sexual abuse, and unlicensed caregivers. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, March 4th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A skilled nursing facility in the state of Washington became the first U.S. site of a coronavirus outbreak, officials announced on Saturday. By Sunday, there were reports of one dead resident and four others hospitalized due to the virus, which has sent ripples through the national economies globally. More than one-sixth of the nearly 300 residents and workers at the Kirkland, Washington facility had been reported as symptomatic on Saturday, healthcare officials said during a Centers for Disease Control and Prevention teleconference call. Two people from the nursing facility, Life Care Centers of Kirkland, had been tested positive for COVID-19 as of Saturday. One was a healthcare worker in her 40s who was listed in satisfactory condition, while the other was described as a resident in her 70s who was in, quote, serious condition and already suffered from significant chronic healthcare problems. Officials said that the approximately 27 of 108 residents and 25 of the 180 staff members had displayed symptoms. Life Care Centers issued a statement early Sunday afternoon that said the first two infected individuals were at a local hospital and that many others exhibiting what could be flu or pneumonia symptoms were being assessed. No visitors or new admissions were being allowed at the facility. A recent report noted that the coronavirus in China has had a 1% to 2% fatality rate, but that's, that soars to 8 to 15% in the elderly population. A Dallas County, Iowa nursing home that cuts staffing to compensate for financial losses is on a federal watch list after inspectors cited the nursing home for contributing to a resident death, hiring an unlicensed caregiver, failing to protect residents from sexual abuse, and allowing a kitchen worker to supervise its dementia ward. Financial troubles at the Rowley Memorial Masonic Home in Perry have been so severe in recent years to the home was unable to buy bottled oxygen for the elderly residents who needed it simply to breathe, according to state records. The home is now on the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services Special Focus Facilities list. The national list was created to identify those homes that have an established pattern of numerous serious violations related to residential care. The home is currently operating on a conditional license from the state. State records indicate the facility, which is a home to roughly 40 older Iowans, has been struggling financially for at least five years. In 2018, the trust that operates the home posted a net loss of $1.3 million and was doing business with less than 45 days cash on hand. At the time, the facility's auditors said the trust hoped to make up for those losses in part by adjusting, quote, staffing ratios to be as cost effective as possible while maintaining quality care. That same year, the number of quality of care violations cited by the state regulators more than tripled from six in 2017 to 22 in 2018. Over the next two years, the home was repeatedly written up for insufficient staff, although no state fines were imposed. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.